Gary Jamison. I'll be uh, 64 years old in about uh, three months. I can't see myself living uh, without, without an anvil. I can do almost anything with an anvil. I started blacksmithing in, in uh, 1973. I saved my money. I paid my way to school, and then I got the GI Bill and paid for all my equipment when I got out and started shoeing horses. Did that for almost 30 years. That's one of the things about blacksmithing that's not so much art. The blacksmith makes the tools. Always has, ever since whenever, whoever invented blacksmithing, when they started doing iron, the blacksmith was the one that all the craftsmen, they, they had to come to him for the tools. So it's actually called, blacksmithing itself is called the king of crafts for that reason. I think I was born an artist. My mother was an artist. I grew up with her art books and her doing art, and, and I always liked art in school. Just a few years ago, I decided to, to step out and try to do it full time, and that's what I'm doing right now. <laughs> I've been doing, actually, metal art since 1973, though just recently I started thinking of myself as an artist. One of the best things I like about it is forming the metal. You're actually feeling the metal move under the hammer. I love the fort. It's really getting the iron red hot, which is actually an orange, and smashing it and bending it and manipulating it. I enjoy doing it so much that uh, I would do it. If I didn't make money doing it, I would do it as a hobby. I, don't, I can't see myself doing, never doing it. If you make it and you finish it, it's pretty much going to be there for a long time unless it rusts away. The most reward is, is just, you know, growing in, in what I'm doing as an artist. At my age, I say I'm just starting and I plan to be doing this as long as I can swing a hammer. <laughs>